What's going on guys, my name is Omega, welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So today I'm going to be taking a look at all of the finishers in Apex Legends, and I'm going to be ranking them for you guys in terms of worst to best. So I actually split this video up into organizing the finishers in three different tiers. The first tier is kind of the lowest one, and I'm going to call that the bronze tier. These are basically the finishers that I think are the worst. I don't necessarily think they're bad, but in terms of all the other finishers, they're definitely missing something in terms of animation, or maybe the style, or just how much that finisher makes sense the second tier is going to be the gold tier these are the good finishers that could be improved a little bit but also aren't exactly the worst and then finally the best tier which is going to be the diamond tier and these are the top tier finishers which in my opinion are my favorite and which ones I think that you guys should spend your hard-earned crafting materials on so let's get right into this first one starting off in the bronze tier with Warcry Gibraltar so I want to start off by saying that just because this is in the bronze tier doesn't mean it's a bad finisher I really do like how Gibraltar can finish them off with literally just one quick swift move and then he does kind of like a, a goofy little pose at the end which is pretty funny. I think that they could have done a little bit more in terms of like how he actually finishes them off. Maybe if he like picked them up and threw them on the ground and then did the finisher move it would have been a little higher up on this list but for now this is kind of like a basic finish that I think fits pretty perfectly with Gibraltar as he's such a big guy. It really probably doesn't take much for him to just break someone's back like that. Next up in the bronze tier we have Reversal of Fortnite. Fortune Bangalore. Now, I really wish this finisher could have been a lot better. Uh, there are some finishers that actually use the enemy's gun in the finisher. It is not like that for this one. When Bangalore uses Reversal of Fortune, she always pulls out an R301 from the enemy. I think this could have been a little bit better in which she, you know, took whatever gun that person was using and then shot them with it. So it would have been a lot more personal and it would have felt a lot more bad when she just took your weapon and executed you with it. So that's why I have to place it in the bronze tier. If that was any different, and she probably would have had a diamond tier finisher right here. But then finally, the last finisher I have for the bronze tier is the strike three finisher for Caustic. I, I rank this in the bronze tier just because I don't really think the punching finishers are all that creative. I mean, obviously, you know, every character has to kind of have like a basic finisher, but I think this one could have been a lot better, a lot different. I mean, it is creepy how Caustic kind of just like walks slowly towards them. Like the enemy already knows what's going to happen. They know that they're done for, but you know, I was expecting Caustic to do a little bit more than just a couple punches. I think there's a lot that he has in terms of his abilities that could have made for a much better finisher. But moving on into the gold tier, these again are finishers that are much better than the bronze one. They have a little bit more style. They might make a little bit more sense or you know just do something else that the bronze tier finishers don't already do so the first one in my gold tier is going to be the with honor bloodhound finisher now i really do like this it is a crazy finisher to have just because bloodhound actually takes the weapon that they're using and puts it back onto their chest this is a very like respectful finisher in the same way but it's also kind of like yo i'm better than you here's your gun back just lay on the ground and die and i really do like this i think bloodhound has some awesome Awesome finishers and going back to like Bangalore's old finisher if Bangalore did what Bloodhound does in this one where they actually take the person's gun it would have been a much better finisher and I think a lot of finishers in this game should have that same kind of unique style moving on we're going to the clean kill Bloodhound finisher this one starts off very simple with Bloodhound just stabbing the enemy with their knife and then wiping the knife on their uh, pants right there and then as you can see at the very end Arthur comes in for the final kill a quick peck to the eye and it looks like he actually like eats their eye like I'm not sure what Arthur's doing over there but it's kind of blurred out I can imagine Arthur is putting in some pretty hefty damage on this dead body so that's why I had to rank it in the gold tier if Arthur didn't come in to finish the kill it probably would have been a bronze tier finisher next up we have the iron haymaker pathfinder finisher I really do like this one because it kind of reminds me of the rock'em sock'em robots when I was a kid they were basically these plastic robots that you can fight with and it was a super cheesy like kids game but it kind of copied that in this finisher I like how the enemy has to kind of get back up before Pathfinder just winds up and breaks their neck with that final punch so I think this is a really good finisher um, you know Pathfinder is just such a goofy legend in general that all of his finishers look really good moving on we have the pound it bro finisher by Mirage now keep in mind we're still in the gold tier of finishers I really do like this one even though it is just kind of like a punching finisher just because you have Mirage's decoy kind of sneaking up on them and playing a little trick and then finally that pound 
pound it at the end, dude, when they just pound it together and the decoy disappears. I really do like that. I think this works perfectly uh, with Mirage's background and how his character actually acts in game. You know, he's a very cocky, very just outgoing, funny guy who doesn't really take things too seriously. So I think this finisher makes a lot of sense, even though it is just a regular punching finisher. Moving on, we have the uh, full throttle octane finisher. And this is actually the only finisher, I think, where a character uses their legs. And it makes sense because octane has robotic prosthetic legs uh, so he would probably you know use those over his scrawny skinny little arms I would love to see octane uh, for a finisher use his uh, stim boost uh, maybe like stab it into the enemy and they just have like an instant heart attack because he is like the only one that can handle it but I do really like this finisher I also like the little dance that he does at the end that kind of just makes him more octane you know octane is always trying to put on a show and just be as exciting as possible for the fans that are watching so I think this match is perfectly with his lore I wish Octane would have some more finishers as this is his only legendary finisher that he has right now but moving on we have Crypto's drone scan finisher and I actually do really like this one I think it is pretty unique to how Crypto reacts in game it starts off with the drone scanning the enemy on the ground and then Crypto does a little backhand move with the drone itself which I think looks really awesome I'm curious what the drone would actually be scanning when he's about to kill someone maybe it's like recording his kill for him in some sort of way but I really do like this finisher it works perfectly with crypto and again crypto only has one legendary finisher so I think some of these newer characters that came out in you know season two season three should definitely have some more finishers available to them next up we have the high five pathfinder finisher and honestly I wish there were more finishers out there that were just kind of goofy and didn't take things too seriously pathfinder basically finishes off the enemy by it looks like ripping their neck out with his grapple and then finally gives them a quick high five as they fall to their death so not as respectful as bloodhound but you know it's still kind of a little bm to you know high five someone after you just massacre them in the face and then finally the last finisher in the gold tier is going to be revenant's imminent shutdown finisher now this one looks really good it's taken straight out of the uh the season for assimilation trailer where revenant grows a giant dagger that comes out of his hand i really do like the skin a lot i think it would be like much more terrifying if you know maybe in that finisher revenant was glowing a little bit more or maybe he was like half in his uh zombie form from his ultimate i think they could have done a little bit of a better job with it but you know just because that this is taken right out of the assimilation trailer i still think it's a really good finisher it's definitely not bronze it's definitely not diamond so i would place it somewhere in the middle and that's why i have it in the gold tier but moving on to the diamond tier, these are finishers that I think are the very best in the game. They have the best style, they make the most sense, and they're probably the most fun to use for those reasons. So starting off, we have the Force of Gravity Gibraltar skin. I think this is like one of the funniest skins ever because Gibraltar, literally all he has to do to finish someone off is just jump on them and sit on them. It's basically nothing. He's a big dude and he probably broke every single bone in that dummy's body. You know, if that was a real person, they would be completely squished after Gibraltar fell on them. So I really like the style points that Gibraltar has in this finisher. It makes a lot of sense because he's a big boy. So that's why I have to rank it in the diamond tier of this list. Moving on, we have the Existential Crisis Wraith finisher. This is probably one of my favorite finishers in the game because it directly just reminds me of a finisher from Mortal Kombat. There's a lot of different angles that Wraith takes. She's teleporting around, doing a bunch of different stuff to them as they're falling down in midair. And then finally, when she just kick slams them to the ground, this is a perfect finisher, like I said, for anyone who played Mortal Kombat. There's definitely a lot going on. And the other cool thing about this finisher is that you can actually do it pretty safely in game and not have to worry about getting shot at. Because as you guys know, when you're doing a finisher and you get shot at, that finisher will basically end. But since Wraith is like bouncing all around and going into the void and out of the void, it's pretty easy to do this finisher without getting shot by the enemy. I also have to add into the light, into the diamond tier list. This is for Wraith again. And she has an insane finisher where she just does like a few punches in the beginning and then finally opens up a portal to the void and throws them in it's kind of crazy that wraith is such a small legend even if she's finishing off gibraltar she can just easily throw them into the wraith portal which is kind of uh not entirely believable but we do know that wraith is the only person that can stay in the void and next up we have the last breath caustic skin this one is very scary the name last breath obviously suggests that 
You know, they're about to take their last breath before inhaling just a mouthful of caustic gas. I think this one looks really cool. It's definitely very terrifying, um, you know, depending on what kind of caustic skin you have. If you have like the clown caustic skin and you're using this finisher, it probably looks so scary just because there's a giant clown spraying toxic gas into your face. So I really do like this finisher. Obviously, I think it works perfect with Caustic's abilities and his lore. So that's why I had to rank it in the diamond tier, dude. It's just so intense and scary when he's doing that to you. Next up, we have the Strike of Pose Legendary Finisher for Mirage. This one is just super goofy. I mean, you have the decoy who's like, kind of toying with the person on the ground, thinking like, oh, am I gonna shoot you now? Am I gonna shoot you now? No, no. And then the real Mirage just comes in and does a quick back kick to the face. So I think this one is perfect. It definitely makes sense. Again, Mirage just always looks like he's having a great time. Even if he's being shot at, whether he's down on the ground or whether he's executing an enemy, he always just finds a way to have a smile on his face. So I think we should all be more like Mirage in times like these, you know, with all the bad shit that's going on in the world. But I really love this finisher. That's why I had to rank it in the diamond tier. Next up we have one of the craziest finishers in this game and I know that any of you guys who play Watson would probably agree with me. Electrical contact is absolutely insane man. I was completely expecting uh, Watson to have a different finisher but when she came out but this one is so terrifying. You know she lifts them off the ground with her electricity and one little just boop to the nose. That's all it takes from Watson and they literally just explode into a bajillion micro pieces. So I think this one is super scary. The fact that Watson is just kind of like a loved character and there's so many of these like cute little Watson cartoons that are drawn but when you look at this finisher you can see just how deadly she actually is you know she's not just some little girl that can play with electricity she can literally melt your entire body off with one touch of her finger so I had to include it for the diamond tier next up in the diamond tier we have the last request skin for Loba I think the cinematic of this looks insane and the fact that the dummy is mainly supposed to be Revenant I mean it works perfectly when Loba is finishing off Revenant with this finisher uh, but any legend who is going to get that close to Loba with a pistol just kind of like pointed towards their neck is obviously in for a rough time so I really do like this finisher I think it takes a lot from Loba's personality and puts it into her finisher I also just want to add her basic finisher is also super cool I mean I'm not gonna like add it to this list or anything but the fact that she does like a flip in the air and then just like drop kicks them to the ground is just absolutely crazy and walks away like a freaking badass I love all of Loba finishers I think these are much more updated compared to some of the older legends but I have to say both of Loba's finishers are amazing but finally going on to the last two finishers in the diamond tier and I have to give both of these to lifeline I think both of lifelines finishers are very good it's just surprising that lifeline is a healer yet she uses a lot of her healing equipment to actually execute people so so starting us off with AJ's lullaby she takes a medical syringe first stabs it into their chest and finishes them off by stabbing it in their head and then finally ends it with her closing them eyes so this is like a super savage finisher you know lifeline is a support healer for your team but this obviously just goes to show she does not care about the enemy she will quickly finish them off in a heartbeat and she's still respectful you know she's still got to close their eyes as a good I guess nurse would do when someone dies but again this is a pretty savage finisher probably not as savage as Doc shock though where she hooks up the DOC drone into the enemy and instead of reviving them which is what the doc drone is supposed to do it literally emits some crazy red emp burst that just electrocutes them to death instantly so I really do like both of these finishers. I think just the fact that Lifeline is a medical character and she's using her equipment to finish people off makes it really cool and a really enjoyable experience in game. But that basically concludes today's video. I wanted to hear from you guys down below if there are any other finishers you guys would add to this list that I didn't have. Cause like I said, I only added the legendary finishers for this video. Let me know how you guys thought of it. If you guys have anything different, leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys all on the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.